Woo. Praise God. How's everybody? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's share the video. What do you think? And I hope that you will help me share this video around real good and quick, please. I hope you will. I hope you will. I hope you will. Okay, we're going to send the first 11. Boom. Happy went. See. We'll start. Might send Rachel two, two, but that's okay. I'm just uh, sending out forwarding. Uh, I'm, I'm going to encourage y'all to uh, to uh, forward this for me, and uh, hopefully we're going to get some people on here. We're going to get some messages started getting out. We're talking about the uh, prayer cloth ministry. And uh, what it's uh, what it's doing, how it's moving forward, and what we want to happen with it. Um, there's a whole lot of things that are going on. And uh, let's see right there. Let's see. I'm gonna knock some folks here. I gotta knock some folks off to put some folks on. And uh, let's talk with Andrew. Anyways, <clears throat> I'd appreciate it if y'all would uh, forward uh, forward to eat this out. What we're going to do, we're going to talk about the prayer cloth ministry tonight initially. And we're going to talk about praying. And we're going to do some praying. Matter of fact, I believe, Lord willing, hallelujah. Y'all doing all right tonight? God is so good. God is so good. Let's get this thing populated so we get some folks in here. It's Sunday night. I know it's late. It's 10 o'clock, Sunday night. But that's okay. This is when we do our thing. All right. Uh, whew. it take a few minutes to get over there. Hey, Rachel, good to see you, dear one. And uh, there's been a whole lot's been going on. Um, Jamie got live band today. That stinks. Uh, and from what I saw, she didn't say anything to do with it. I've been so sad. How you feeling? I'm sorry, cupcake. I hope you're doing better. Hey, Candy, good to see y'all. I won't be able to sit and watch the things in here. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna tell y'all folks. I think I think you're gonna be excited about what I'm facing it to reveal. I'm excited. I'm I'm like wow man. I've been talking to my kid, my son, and uh, and he's way smarter than me. So um, he's helping me to um, get this thing started. All right. Let's see. Well, we have got ten people on here. We'll start with this. And I'm scripted here, so I don't. I'm not usually scripted. But if you saw my video earlier, you know that I'm I'm reading off of a script here. But uh, coffee with Cleo. This is my tagline, y'all. This is coffee. I'm Cleo. Praise God. Welcome to Coffee with Cleo. Um, Miss D ain't on here right now. She's in Yonder. She can't read this, Rachel, but she'll probably be on. She might be on. D, are you going to be on? <laughs> she likes me. <clears throat> but let me let me go ahead and start. I, this is exciting news to me. I'm just going to tell you. Um, so, like I said, it's, it's scripted, so forgive me for that. It's, hey, guys. I want to talk to you about something that I'm going to get deeper into, but Coffee, to Cleo, Coffee with Cleo, wants, we're going to make sure that nobody that wants a prayer cloth ever has to pay for it. And so what we're doing is um, we're, 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 we're going to matter, no matter where a person's at, I don't care if they're in India, if they want a prayer cloth and we can mail it to them. They got a mailing address. We're going to mail it. And um, so, so I'm going to be, I've got a link tree established. My son did all this stuff. He's smart. Um, I'm, you know, I mean, come on, guys. Look at me. I'm not, I'm not that IT guy. All right. But we want to make a bigger impact. We want, we want, we're ready to shake this world with prayer, with prayer claws. Um, we're sending them all over the place. We're actually going international a couple weeks ago. Um, and we're, we're looking for people far and wide. If you're in another country, if you're in the UK, if you're in Bangladesh, India, if you're in China, I don't care. If you send me your address, we will send you an anointed prayer cloth. And Candy, all you have to do to get one, I just shot you a follow, is you have to message me and with your, your name, your mail address, and your um, prayer requests, whatever it is, and I'm going to mail them out to you. Lord, we, we, we take our, our little prayer cloths. They look like this right here. It's on Southern, don't I? 
That's all there are. And we put a little drop of anointing oil on them. And we put your address on the envelope and we mail it to you. It's just that simple because it's just what we're doing. Okay? I hope this thing fires back up. I am not. Let's press home button. Okay. Let's see. Did it work? Uh, let's see. See if I can get it. Nope. Doggone it. D, what's your passcode? Nope. D, I lost the passcode. I can't help it. I got it. Thank you. <clears throat> Let me read this out. And then I, 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 I'm wanting feedback and comments, um, um, sharing. We're, we're going to do some great things, okay? So <clears throat> what we do is we we'll want to make sure that everybody anywhere can get a copy, or get a copy, can get a prayer cloth sent to them by mail and we want to make sure that they never have to pay for for a prayer cloth or postage or nothing like that listen it's not much folks look at it we're not talking about a great expense but cumulatively speaking it could become one so um we want to get a bigger impact we don't know how far the ministry is going to go so i don't want to hinder it by my small minded so i'm going to, i'm open to understanding that god's going to do a lot you didn't miss a lot, Don. I just got started. So, I'll be providing a um, link tree with all my platforms. I am on TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Clapper, and Twitter. I invite you to follow me at coffeewithclail.com. I am Clail at coffeewithclail.com. We're doing this. To, to make this move forward. Mike, I just can't agree with you, buddy. And you come in here with that, and I'm just, I, I, can't, I can't let you do that, buddy. Okay? Um, so, we're going we're gonna to keep on coming out and doing this and, and saying that we've got to have an understanding that in order as this ministry grows... I want to do it right. I don't. I don't want. I don't want to. You know. I, Lord knows. I ain't want to be on here begging people for money. So, <clears throat> I'll be providing a link tree with all my platforms and and some affiliate links to better serve my audience and to provide value in ways that can help to cover the cost and the expenses in this outreach. Now, without having to get on here and beg for people's money. Okay. I plan to do this with things relevant to the audience and mission. Focusing on faith, family, and the great outdoors, and of course, coffee. Coffee with Clay. All right. Now, you'll see a link in my bio. All right. That takes you to Maxwell House Coffee on Amazon. And it's simply, that's what I drink. I drink Maxwell House Coffee. Okay. Not because I'm a, I'm a great, you know, person or nothing. It, it fit my budget for all these years. I was Air Force. I was, I carried mail. Rain, sleet, dark night, mother-in-laws and dogs at bite, nothing born this side of you know where can stop them carrying the U.S. mail. Okay, fine. That's my own version of, of their, their nonsense. So, um, but Maxwell House is what I drink. And I have drank. It's, it's something I could afford to drink on a regular basis. Now, I'm going to start doing videos, and I'm going to be trying different cups of coffee from different. So, if y'all got some suggestions and stuff like that, message me. I can't read them on this thing right here. I don't have time. Um, so, but, you know, message me and, and, and we'll try and get some, cause there's a lot of, there's a lot of, um, coffees out there that there ain't no way I'd know where they were, you know, little, little mom and pops and stuff. I'd love to taste it. Take a cup of them. I'll, I'll order it. You don't have to send me none. You don't have to call me none. Uh, but anyways, um, so I'm, 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 I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna do these things relevant to the audience mission. Now you see the link in my bio. It takes you to Maxwell house coffee. And it's simply that's my daily drinker, okay. I I'm on, I got some black rifle in there. I've done a couple of videos on my black rifle coffee, and I'll do some more. But I'm gonna do some Dunkin' Donuts or something like that. I don't know. Even some Starbucks. I mean, come on, it's coffee, folks. Um, Donna, send me another message. I'll take care of that. All right. Now we should look forward. Um, we look forward to doing more reviews 
on some exciting options, making the shift and interactive fun for everyone. But for now, if you'd like to spend a day in Clell's Cup, hit the link, get some great affordable coffee, and support us in taking the first step in establishing coffee with Clell. Now, having said that, if you hit on the Amazon link that's embedded in here or on one of my videos and you buy anything, then it will go into the fund for Coffee with Clell. Now, um, I, I don't think I'm gonna be rich and I'm not just funding this. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for, um, you know, I, I had no idea how much money's gonna come into this thing. And I'm not trying to, to focus on that. What I'm trying to focus on is making sure that we can continue to do what we intended to do, which is to um, provide opinion. Uh, I'm gonna show y'all some bee videos. I've got bees I'm, and uh, we got honey products. We're gonna, we're gonna see whether we can affiliate with some honey distributors. Cause listen, my honey is limited. I've just put in two more hives. I've only got five hives and two of them are brand new. And so the, they're probably, they're not gonna produce that. I can run out of honey. I've had two customers almost run me out of honey before. Uh, my honey, I'll, all I do with it is I strain it. I don't heat it. I don't even use a capping knife, a, a hot capping knife. I, 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 I drain it out. I'll spin some of it and then I'll drain the, drain it out of the thing. So it, it goes slower, takes longer for it to come out. And then, um, but that's what I do. Okay. So, um, but I'm, I'm, I'm looking at a feeling I'm, I'm understand my son was, he got excited. He said, dad, he says, you realize you got, you know, 57,000 followers. Well, I don't own this account. And so he's jumped in and he said, well, maybe we can get him to give you that other account back. So we're, we're trying to do, thank you, Jamie. God bless you. They treated you badly today. Um, D told me I, I didn't, I haven't been on social media. I was getting bees. I had to go to Blairsville, which is only the next town over. And I had to get bees and bring them back and, and put them in the hives and, and do all kinds of, uh, stuff it was just really it was just stuff today and i took a nap um uh, old man like me we come in late last night we, we were at my son's house and we came in late up here and uh i had to get up early because i had to meet my brother to go and meet glenn uh if y'all seen the video where my brother was talking i put him on there and made him talk <laughs> about the bees and um you know so we, we that's what we've been doing and here we are right now, and I'm 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 stoked. I'm excited about this. Uh, if you will, if you get one of my prayer videos or or any other video, if you will share it with your friends, share it with your family. This is I made my my Facebook is public now. Please go and follow me. Uh, and like I said, I I've got a link tree from. Um, from YouTube, I'm going to be putting stuff on YouTube and I haven't been putting stuff on YouTube and they're like, you should be on YouTube. And I said, well, I'm already on all these other apps. I said, well, you should be on YouTube. And I kind of find out I can put it on YouTube and then download it into these other apps. I'm like, well, dog my cats, man. That's all right. I like that kind of stuff. But I wanted to get to it. But the reason that I'm excited about this is because it's going to open doors. All right. When, when what we've done is we've opened up the platform so that we can reach more people. I'm excited. Listen, I want you to know something. If you have a prayer request and you send in, a, you ask for a, a prayer cloth, and like I said, the prayer cloth ain't nothing but this right here, and you ask for a prayer cloth, we send you a prayer cloth, and bam, you get one of the, that means you join the body of believers. When you're praying, prayer is eternal. Let me, let me come to understand something with you. Prayer is eternal. Prayer doesn't just go up there and hit the ceiling and fall back to the ground. But how do I know that? Because it tells me in the book of Revelation that they're going to open vials and it's going to make a sweet aroma before God. And it is in the vial is the prayers of the saints. So prayer is an eternal thing. It, it doesn't go away. So when, when you pray, when we pray together, when we bind together, I am speaking unity right now that we come together, the body of believers. You don't believe everything you don't need a prayer cloth. I didn't say you did. Did I say you needed a prayer cloth? I didn't say that. No, I said, if you want one, okay, I, just pray, okay? But how about if you know that there's other people praying with you, okay? How about if you know that we take this book, and this is, this is as high-tech as this gets. This is where we put the names 
and the prayer requests. They never go on any social media. I don't take pictures of that book other than what you saw. And what you saw was the cover. And that's all you'll ever see. We're not going to show you the names. We're not going to discuss the names. If you call and ask, I'm not going to tell you what the names are. Um, full of my heart, if you will, I just shot you a follow. If you will follow me back and, and send me your request, I will most assuredly send you prayer calls. Okay? And so, so it's just knowing. All right, it's, just, it's knowing it's a body of believers holding one another up in prayer. What can, what, you don't have to do anything. It's not going to cost you anything, and you get to be a part of everything. Okay, I mean, wow, why not? Okay, listen, you don't need one. I ain't arguing with you. Okay, you don't need one. But isn't it something? I mean, you know, it, it, it's, it's, there's no admission. It don't cost you nothing. All it is, is we, my wife and I, we just wish to express our love to people and tell people, listen, we want to pray for you. We want to pray for you, and we want to continue praying for you. And so the names in this book, we pray with this book right there in the new prayer closet that we've got. We anointed them, and we set them out, and we pray for them. Then we put them in the mailbox and send them to you. And that's what it is, okay? So, I mean, I'm excited about it. All right, I can't help. I'm a little bit bubbly, maybe a little bit giddy. And there's going to be more coming down. My son is, is a whole lot more in tune with all this stuff because he works in, you know, what, well, actually, he, he works at uh, uh, American Commercial Roofing. So if you're in one of 19 states, he might be the company that might do your, your uh, thing. SQ to the rescue on my, you might see him um, sometimes. Uh, that's my son, Adam. All right. I have two more sons. I got Justin. He's in Texas. I have Christopher. He's everywhere. <laughs> he flies all over the United States. And I have my daughter, Amanda, and she's in, in Georgia. And uh, you know, all of them are smart. All of them are doing great. Hallelujah. Now, oh, my goodness. And I want you to know something, people. Michael, you need to instant message me that, man. Um, you, I want you to know something. Um, it's not just about this. We're going to, um, when, when my honey starts coming in, it's going to be a while before honey comes in. I, the bees are just now starting to move out. Tomorrow, I'm, I had a, a little girl, um, my, little, uh, my little niece was out, and she was shooting uh, videos for me that I've been uploading. I'm going to be uploading them to uh, just on reels. It's all our little one-minute reels of us doing the bees yesterday or today. And uh, then we're going to do it again. Um, I'll have to video some more tomorrow what I'm doing and, and sort of just maybe just say you some things, some interesting things. I like to do bees. It's not fun. You get stung, okay? You don't get stung a lot, okay? Kinley, my little niece, she got a, a bee up her bonnet, and so she had to stand real still, and I had to lift it up so that she could get get it up to where the bee got, you know. And, and so then we named the we named the bee Emily. Emily B, because it didn't sting her, so it was a nice B. Or Elizabeth, was Elizabeth? It was something with an E. and uh, But she didn't want me to kill a B, so I had to make sure that I let the B back out of the suit. Uh, you know, hey, isn't that great? I mean, you know, little heart, we and stories. And, but she had to go because she had to do uh, young groups at her church, and I was like, she said, she said, I want to ask no. I said, you'll be, you'll be much gladder that you went and had your young groups that you went back and you, you you had some fellowship with your friends and the Lord, that's the best answer. Always the best answer to have fellowship with God. Always the best answer. You know, <clears throat> that's why we do the prayer ministry. That's what prayer is about. Prayer means ask. Go and look it up. Okay, it means say, speak, pray, ask. Pray tell, ask tell. Let me tell you, let me ask a question. So let's just ask and let's know that because we have asked, okay, we're, we're asking the Lord to look and to see our, we're, we're looking to see our God. We're seeing the great things. I want to see the prayer requests not just going out, but I want to see the testimonies coming back in. We've already started to see some. We've had some people get healed. We've seen some people get uh, financial blessings. We've seen some people get their families back together. And man, isn't that great? Because, you know, life is really about relationship more than anything else. More than anything else, life is about relationship. Life is about connectivity, okay? Uh, I don't care if you went through this life and, and 
you never lost a dollar at anything you ever did and all you ever did was make money. If you don't have a relationship with anybody, if all, if your relationships are all business, you're a single faceted person. You may think you're happy. I don't think you'll be really happy until, I, I don't think that a person can be really happy until they love and are loved. Now that's, that's just me. That's how I feel about it. I don't, there, there's, there's nothing. I don't think there's any way to document and say that I am right or wrong. I really don't. That's just how I feel. But in the meantime, I, I wanted y'all to know that and, and God bless each and every one of you for, uh, for being here tonight. Cause we're two or three. That's right. Rachel, uh, full of heart. Oh, that's my full heart friend. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Where, where we're getting together, God's doing some things. God's doing some things around the world. And listen, there's just, the revivals are not being covered in the national media because the national media is driven by evil people per se. That is to say, it don't make them no money to produce video about godly people, okay, and things that are happening in God's kingdom. You know, we call this the devil's app itself, but at the same time, we're bringing something good across it. You have to work perfect love. That's right. Look at there. Mary done got to Mia. <laughs> that's right. Perfect love. Cast out all fear. Amen. You see, that's what I'm talking about. When we unify, all right, well, I don't believe exactly what you believe. I'm like, listen, okay, you don't believe exactly what I believe. We all believe in Jesus, and we can start from there. That's the unifying point. And we'll go to the Bible for our answers and quit going to men. That's why I, it, what I do is I, when I get ready to preach, I preach, you know, God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. Whosoever believed in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Now, if you should not perish, that's a wonderful thing. But what do you do to make sure you don't? Okay, and then I, so I go to the book of Acts. It's the only place anybody was ever saved in the Bible. In Acts 2, Peter preached. In Acts, uh, Acts 10, or Acts 8, Peter preached. In Acts 10, Peter preached. In Acts 19, Paul preached. And they all, they preached the same message. When Peter had to stand up at the council in Jerusalem, they had to stand up for him because they, they called him into question. He stood there and said, he told me, he said, listen, uh, they, they, he wasn't supposed to baptize nobody in Jesus' name. He wasn't supposed to baptize nobody at all, period. And he went to the Gentiles in Cornelius in Acts 10 and baptized the house of Cornelius in Jesus' name. And he said, why did you do that? He said, well, we've seen him speak with the, them speak with other tongues just like us, the identifying factor back. So the Acts 2.38 message is what I preach, which is Peter standing among the eleven. Now, when he stood up in Acts 2, if you read the whole thing, it said Peter stood up with the 11, and it wrote. It was written by Luke. Luke never, Luke was a, was the great physician, and he wrote stuff. Boy, I mean, he, he was so detailed that if one of those people had sat down, he would have said, but Philip sat down at this point, but he didn't, okay? He said, he, he preached the message, and then he said, the, the men asked, he said, men and brethren, what, just, what must we do to be saved? And Peter said, repent. Turn away from your sin. Okay, repent. That's what repent is. Die out to sin. Die out to the old man. Die out to the way you have lived. And be baptized. Now, there's a comma, by the way. Okay? And be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. And there's another comma. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Now, that's the promise right there. Okay, following the gospel message. Now, the only way they knew that they had, they had received the Holy Ghost in the, Old, in the New Testament, in Acts 2, in Acts 8, in Acts 10, in Acts 19, is they spake with other tongues as the Spirit of God gave the utterance. Now, would I tell you you don't have the Holy Ghost if you hadn't spoken tongues? I will not. Okay, the only thing I can confirm is an evidence. If you walk around and you got tongues of toad and fire on your head, then I'm on, I'm on a, a test and affirm that you got the Holy Ghost. If you, go, if you come around and you show me these fruits, I'm going to affirm that you've got to walk with God. you got to walk with God. But if you're asking me to affirm biblically, then the only thing that I will affirm is what I see and what I see and what I hear. That's it. All right? Now, I think that's fair enough because you wouldn't want me to do something that I didn't believe in and didn't understand. 
you 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 wouldn't want me just to get mad at 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 myself and say, well, everybody's saved. With that, you know, and then people say, well, brother Cliff, you put nobody here. No, sir, I'm not. I am not judging anybody. I don't know that anybody is or ain't going to heaven or hell. I don't know that I am. Paul told me we live in the eternal hope. We live in the eternal hope. You never get away from hope. You never get away from understanding that God's got more for you than whatever it is. That's why I'm excited about this prayer ministry opening up. I don't know where it's going to take us. But I know it's going to take us somewhere in God. I know we're going to be able to bless more people. I don't know how we're going to be able to bless more people. I don't know what we're going to evolve into doing. I don't know. Okay? I don't know. Um, my son was talking about, well, Dad, you know, you could end up, you might have to hire somebody. And I said, we have to hire somebody. We have to hire somebody. Okay? Um, but we, we, needless to say, we're not there yet. Okay? Um <clears throat> But we got, we're, we're open to God showing us what to do. And understand me when I say that when we pray, we're praying God's will be done. Anybody that's ever read the uh, the Lord's Prayer, you know, people will tell you, oh, I said the Lord's Prayer. Now, praise God. Say whatever you got, okay? But understand that it, it's not meant as a prayer. It's meant as an outline. Jesus said, pray after this manner. Okay, and the, our Father who art in heaven, acknowledging God Almighty in heaven, hallowed be thy name, wow. giving mercy, praise, and glory to the name of God. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Okay, thy will be done. Don't ever let that part get left out because that's the that is a crux position. You see, if I pray and I don't get what I want, okay, and I don't get what I might think I need that God answers prayer basically three ways. Yes. Okay, fine. Boom, you got it, right? And then sometimes maybe later. Okay, maybe later. Okay, not 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 just right now. And people say, well, and then no. And I'm like, you know what? It is no. But if you think about it in different terms, maybe it's, I've got something better for you. Because the reality of it is, if I prayed for God's will, it's God's will that I not be lost. What if he gives me something that's going, that he knows looking down the timeline is going to destroy me? Well, doggone it. So I, it got withheld from me. Hello, Edward. It got withheld from me, and here I am. I didn't get what I wanted. But you know what? I didn't get what I wanted. I'm not going to sit on the floor and cry. My little my little grandson, hey, he don't get so when we tell him no, it's it's really it's sort of funny. Okay, you tell him no and, and he's still at the point he can he's in the terrible twos. He lays down on the floor and, it's the worst moment of my life, you know. Aah. All right, okay. The answer's still no. Okay. Well, you know, but I wanted it, I know. You wanted to stick that case knife. In that wall socket, and I didn't let you. Okay, you cried. But see, that's what I'm telling you. God's got something better for you. And so he will He will endure your crying because he's protecting you from sometimes your very self. Okay? And that, that's what I'm that's what I'm I continue to tell you folks. Coffee with Cloud. That's what, that's, that's the whole thing. It's, there's actually, my son built me a website, coffeewithclail.com. I'm coffeewithclail at Gmail. Um, yeah, coffeewithclail at Gmail. That's my, that's my coffeewithclail handle. And so, you know, if you want to, if you want to send me an email, by all means, send me an email. I will read it. And in the meantime, we got so many things happening. We got people that need need prayer cloths. We're 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 continuing. I got I got a whole bunch of them. I got to put in the book because we were we were this weekend. We were so it it wasn't that we were busy like hands busy. We were busy like moving and moving and going and going because we were doing a family time. People, let me tell you something. Always take time for your family. Okay, if you get a chance to go to the park on a pretty day with your grandsons grandchildren you might have granddaughters i only got grandsons with your grandkids 
and your 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 your, your family, go. Those kind of, those things don't come back around. I'm, well, I'll go next time. Shut up and go this time. Okay, because whatever you're doing, it'll be there when you get back. But the chance to go to the park with your kids and your grandkids, that won't come back. That's another time that might come. Okay, but whatever you're doing right now, I mean, I let man, I'll put the broom against the wall. I'll turn the vacuum cleaner off. We'll go to the farm. You know, we go out here. Uh, you know, take take my grandboys fishing or something like that. And go. Okay. You worked hard to get these things in your life. Don't lose them. All right. One of the things, transitioning. How about that? We'll do a segue. My, I've, I've learned stuff. We'll do a segue. <coughs> Speaking of transitions, don't let your love die out for the person that is the number one person in your life. Continue to go on dates. Now, I can't speak for a woman, but I can speak for men, okay? Or in, in today's environment, the dominant partner in the relationship, and, and men fool themselves into believing that they're a dominant partner in a relationship. You know, I might be bigger and stronger physically than my wife, but I'm not dumb, okay? So I call her up, I'd be at work, and I'd call her up on the phone. And I'd invite her out on a date. Okay. Hey baby. Wanna go out on a on a, let me let me take you out to dinner tonight. You know, just me and you. All right. So now what she would do, her part was she took care of the kids. And, and I can tell you if my wife was at home that day, now if she was working with me that day, and we both we both worked just as hard as I didn't, so I didn't I didn't expect her to do anything really super super duper special. Sometimes we left work together or we left work and met at the at the restaurant on the way home, we just had somebody, you know, taking care of the kids. So, they call her up, buy her flowers, okay? Now, if she's at home, and I call her up and invite her, then she would, what she would do is, she would make sure that the, the babysitters were taken care of, the house was clean, you know? Um, I sometimes would pull up, I wore a uniform to work, so I carried mail. So. I typically wanted to change clothes. It wasn't mandatory, but you know, I typically wanted to change clothes. I've been in these things working all day. So I come in, change clothes, the house would be clean. All right. Sometimes she'd have my clothes laid out. I want you to wear this. All right, I look, would you mind wearing this? You know, oh, okay, whatever, you know, or I wish you'd wear the green. My wife likes green. So <clears throat> I come in, change clothes, and we go right back out the door. And a person says to you, um, "Hey, what are you what are you doing there? You know, I'm dating my wife. Okay, that's love of my life, man. You know, I want this woman to be happy. Yes, I am, Michael. All right, I want her to be happy. So we'd go out. Now she'd have the house cleaned up. I would go by and get if you're not gonna pay by card." Go by and get the money, get the cash money. So you, if you're going to leave a tip, think things through, fellas. Okay, have money in your pocket, just in case after you have dinner, she, you're like, you, something spurs on you, or you see something you want to buy her real quick, boop, boop, and you buy. Oh, baby, I want you to have this. You know, buy her some flowers, bring them, bring them home with you. Ooh. Have money in your pocket. Be ready to do the the those little. It's the little things that matter. I'm going to tell you right now. You both had to eat, okay? So you go home and get her and you go out. And, you know, and she'll, she was out there. She'd be looking nice, you know? Uh, and boom, we'd go out. We'd get us something to eat. Maybe spend a few time, a few hour, a few minutes gazing into one another's eyes. Um, we got a rule, okay? We, we When we got cell phones, we got the rule. Um, <clears throat> now, she's mom, so people text her all the time. Um, people don't text me too often, and that's fine too. Don't hurt my feelings a bit, <laughs> but they text her all the time. So she would keep her phone where she could see it, and if it was an important text about our kids or something like that, she would, you know, negotiate it. But if it was from somebody, you know, um, that it text can wait. It's plain and simple as that, okay? But phone calls, you know. Anyways, we'd sit there, and we'd have our little bit of dinner, and, and then sometimes we'd go catch a movie, right? And uh, we'd slip out. And we go catch whatever the latest move. We didn't really care. We were spending time together, okay? And it was more important for both of us to spend time together. I, you know, I like my wife. 
You know, some people don't. I hate that for you. Okay, we like we spend time together. If she was up and around better, um, I can almost tell you that she'd be out there working bees with me. But you know, um, she can't run fast to get away from them if I ever get up her skirt. So she probably ain't gonna be out there. <laughs> but but uh, anyhow, um, all the time, all this time that, that we work through these things, and there's a lot of them. Okay, because see, there's always a truck fixing to hit you. There's always something bad coming after you. You might as well, I'm, I'm gonna encourage y'all please to share this video, by the way. I, I hadn't encouraged y'all in a while. Please share the video so we can get lots and lots of, of interaction. And I want interaction, okay? We need interaction, especially on the videos. But, so there we go. And we look forward and you see all of these things and you, you realize, you know what? There's always a truck fixing to hit your relationship. There's always, a uh, a money, money expense is always a sick child. We had we had a special needs son that we you know we had lots of operations and stuff, and so there'd be times when we wouldn't see each other. We'd be she'd be at the hospital or I'd be at the hospital and bouncing back and forth. One of us stayed home and babysit the kids. One of us had to go to the hospital. You know we spent we spent way too many hours in the ER. All right, all those things come along. All of those things they happen. That's life, and it happens to you. Okay. And so you got to realize that marriage is not about love. Marriage is about commitment. Marriage is about seeing yourself fixing to hit this storm and, and looking over to the person going, well, I don't know what it's going to look like on the other side, but it's going to be me and you, babe. All right. And and when you get to the other side, you're looking back, you're going, wow, look at the, the desolation. I'm glad I went through it with you. Okay. Um, so So that whole thing keeps on going. And we're living this life. And, you know, we get these storms, you know, we, you get money issues. I mean, anybody that, that knows anybody with a special needs kid knows that um, with that comes special financial issues. So a lot of times it was like just about the time we'd get a little, little think we're going to get a little bit of money saved up. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to come up and just suck that money right down. It just, how, it was our life. It was how we lived. Okay. And we didn't, we didn't get mad. We didn't cry about it. We just, you know what? Me and you, babe. We, you know, that's how it's going to roll. And so, um, you know, we, we, we did the things that we had to do to get through the times that we had to get through. Uh, you know, we, we lifted one another up. We took care of our children. We took, we, we, we got involved in our church. We worked in ministries and, um, you know, we just, you know, we just did stuff, but we would go on dates periodically. And we, we typically wanted to date at least once a month. Now we tried for two times a month, but we, 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 we were like once a month, we're going to make for sure, you know, and that, like I said, we might go out and see a movie or we might go to Walmart or we might go to Home Depot, which is by the way, Toys R Us for kids, for men, you know, um, so we might go to one of them. We might go to the hardware store, Ace Hardware, same thing. You know, Lowe's, I don't want to leave anybody out, Harbor Freight, whatever. Okay. Um, you know, just so we could spend time walking. You, you, you don't realize that you don't talk. If, you don't, if you're not careful, you'll end up in a relationship where the only thing you're asking is, what's for dinner? Are you ready to go to bed yet? Or are you going to watch on TV? Uh, you know, and that's it. So you've got to be focused. You you you've got to take responsibility for for having something to say. You know, um, I've I've known a bunch of men. You know, that didn't didn't see didn't see their wives and their husbands anymore. Okay, and you you you, you tell me, you say, listen, you've forgotten that you're you're married to a person. Okay, and that person. Just like you're growing and you're 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 getting more experiences, they're getting more experiences, and they're not getting all the same experiences that you are in the same places. My wife and I both worked at the post office. We both retired from the post office. We both had very different jobs. They were the same job. I was a city carrier, she was a rural carrier. Okay, we, but we had very different experiences with carrying mail with the supervisors. My wife will tell you all those stories you hear about postal management and all the atrocities, they're not stories. We saw them in real time, she and I, okay? Um, it's because of nepotism and stuff like that where they, they, they hire, um, you know, 
we had, we had people that were hired because, you know, looks, okay? And we, it, it is what it is. Get mad if you want to, okay? Instead of hiring on merit, you know, and promoting on merit, you get them where they, they can't do the job. And we're in the government now because the government does this all the time. I don't need them out of this post office. And they promote them. Oh, my gosh. Why would you do that? You know, they were terrible as a carrier or a clerk or as a janitor, and you just put them in charge. Well, it was easier than firing them. Wow, what an answer. Okay, <laughs> but unfortunately, but true, that was the answer. All right, or they liked them, you know, and, and if they're in the office, I get to spend more time. I, dirt bag. You did everybody a disservice because you're, you know, wanting to create a relationship with somebody you ought not to. But anyhow, we're leaving that all alone and we're moving forward and we're continuing to talk about relationships. Like I said, my wife, we, we talked about what happened. I would listen to her and I'm like, I can believe she worked in the same building I worked in. Our experiences were so different. Sometimes we would only be 25 or 30 feet apart from one another. And she would come home and, and she'd, she'd be, oh my gosh, it was just horrendous. And I'd be like, I had a pretty good day. Now, by the same token, some days I'd come in and I'd be like dragging. You could, you know, I was making three tracks because my rear end was dragging in the dirt back there. You know, and I'd come through the door and I'd like, hey, and we got to do it again tomorrow. And she'd be like, oh, you know what? I was off by, you know, early 30. <laughs> I got home early, you know, because she, she was a rural care. So if she carried her route early, she just went home. You know, so I was like, wow, you know, those days I'd be jealous. But I worked by the hour. So when paychecks come in, typically I'd have a bigger paycheck. So I'd be like, okay, well, you know what, more, pay, more buying power. Those are all things that we do, right? Take care, Michael. And so we're going to continue. We're going to continue to do this. We're going to continue to advance this ministry as best we can. Okay, uh, if anybody missed out on, on the early thing, I'm going to go repeat this thing one more time for you so that we can, uh, uh, let me see if I can get this thing done. Okay, um, I just wanted to tell you that Coffee, Coffee with Clay is now a website and it's hooked up to, um, to um, what is it, Link Linktree? Where'd it go? Okay. Anyways, yeah, Linktree. It's hooked in Linktree. So all of my accounts, if you Google Coffee with Clay, please follow them all, okay? And or touch base with them all and all that good stuff. The reason is because on the different platforms, if you go in, uh, I've got a, uh, I've got a, what is it called? <laughs> um, Want to make sure that we get the prayer clause are paid for without anybody having to ever send money to make a bigger impact. And, but we've got to grow the platform. That's first of all, we've got to grow the platform out here that we got to reach more people if they're going to know, you know, so I'm providing a link tree with my platforms and some affiliate links to better serve the audience. Um, uh, once again, now you'll see a link in my bio, Maxwell House Coffee on Amazon. That's simply the coffee I drank for years. Okay. It was the, you know, it may not actually have been the cheapest. Okay. But it was it was the best cheapest I could get, if you will. And um, you know, for I drink a lot of coffee, guys. So you know, um, I, I drink Maxwell House. You can get if you go on Amazon. If you click the link on Amazon on my my bio there, and you go on Amazon um, and buy coffee or anything else, we'll get a few pennies into the coffee with Clay, and we'll make sure that this thing stays um, stays to where we can send it. I don't care. If postage is $15, I don't care. Okay? I want to get this word out. I want to get I want to get believers hooked in. I want to get believers to touch one another, okay? And so um look for the link. Um it was just Maxwell House is the best bang for my buck. Okay? It's just all right, it's good coffee. I like it. Now you might like something different. Dude, you ain't gonna hurt my feelings if you don't like Maxwell House. I'll drink, if I come to your house, I'll drink what you're drinking. But if, in my house, we're drinking Maxwell House, okay? Um, we're going to be doing some more. We're going to be doing some some reviews on some different coffees. 
Uh, if you've got a favorite coffee that you've liked out there, some kind of especially little specialty blends or stuff like that, I would be interested in getting some of those and bringing them in. And I'm going to start doing a review on a coffee. Probably going to start on like Monday mornings doing a, a coffee review or something like that. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Might do one in the morning. I don't know. Just to open up with a, a quick live. And I mean a quick live to, to do a review. But uh, <clears throat> we're looking forward to... to uh, more exciting options, making the shift interactive and fun for everybody. And, you know, but for now, you know, just share a cup, share it with Clell's cup, you know, Clell's cup of coffee, coffee with Clell, bam. All right, uh, hit the link, get some great affordable coffee and support in the first step of establishing coffee with Clell. Be a part, because if you're part of this, you're a part of helping to, to take, make sure we continue to fund the prayer cloth ministry. That's buying stamps, buying more cloths. Um, you know, uh, my wife found these little cloths we buy. Um, we buy, uh, uh, we've already bought the, the oil to mix. We're going to mix our own oil because it's easier. It's cheaper to mix it than it is to buy it. I promise you that when you buy it already mixed and stuff and they get excited about that. And it's, you know, it's, it's not something we should, we should have to get all crazy about anyways. We've got so many good things that are going to be happening. I'm excited. I, I really, I'm sort of stoked about this. I can't, I can't hardly wait. I'm, I'm really enjoying um, doing these lives. I'm going to try and do lives basically about 10 o'clock on the nights that I'm going to do them. I, I try to do them. My wife will tell you, I try to do one every night for at least a few minutes because, <clears throat> because we need to pray. Okay. And we're praying across this app. With whoever you are, wherever you are, we're praying across this app. Okay, we got people sometimes in the UK. We got people in South America or South yeah South America, um, South Africa, Canada. I mean, you know, let's pray. So right now, I'm facing close out, and uh, let if you will join us in prayer. Lord, in Jesus' name, we come to you in faith, believe and trust in you, God, right now, giving you glory, honor, and praise. We lift you up and magnify you, the one true God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. God, we love you and praise you. We thank you for this day, for your wonderful opportunities that you've given us, for blessing us and guiding us, for keeping us safe and well. We ask you, Lord, to keep your hand upon our nation and keep your hand upon those that protect our nation and our communities. Those, Lord Jesus, all the way down to the garbage collectors, God, because these people that are in service, they serve us, oh Lord. We just want to praise you and thank you and ask you to keep them safe. We ask you, Lord, to minister to each and every one that's listening and, and to help us, God, to be the people that we need to be in this chosen hour. Help us, God, as we establish, as we put down roots and footholds, Lord, as we expand the ministry of the prayer cloths, that, Lord, more people will see it and more people will call and more people will need prayer cloths and we we will keep mailing them out, Lord, as long as you allow it. We ask you, Lord, in Jesus' name to help us, Lord, to develop the ministry so that we can more fully touch on the needs of people, God. We're asking in Jesus' name if you would help us to minister, to guide us, to lead us, and direct us. <clears throat> in all things, we give you praise, glory, and honor. A special prayer for my friend Thomas, Lord. He's in the hospital tonight, and, and he's he's had surgery and their biopsy and stuff. Lord, just you know the need for Thomas right now, Lord. In Jesus' name, we're asking for full and complete healing in his body. For all my friends, you know who you are. I'm not calling everybody's name out. Thomas is special tonight. We're looking after him in Jesus' name. We're praying, trusting, believing that you would touch every prayer in this book right here, Lord. And the ones that will be represented and written in, we're just praying, God, unite us and drive us to keep us, O oh Lord Jesus, humbly focused on performing your will. In Jesus' name, forgive our sins and trespasses. And we thank you for everything, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, folks, that's going to be it for me tonight. Um, <clears throat> we're going to do some more stuff. Again, please follow me over on uh, Facebook. I can be followed on Facebook now. Um, Creole one two three zero four, absolutely. God, God, gonna touch you special tonight. If you need a prayer cloth, please send me or my wife DSQ uh, a request, and we'd be more than happy to to send that to you. 
all these things. We're, we're, trying to, we're, we're trying to see what God's going to do. God's going to do some great things. He's already doing some great things. So I just wanted you to have a great night. God bless each and every one of you. And we'll see you, Lord willing, tomorrow. Take care.